Welcome everybody. I'm Teddy Katz for SGS Talks, here today to share details about important news for anybody involved in the testing of dioxins and other contaminants. I'm joined by Corrine Hamilton, a scientist from SGS Access Environmental Health and Safety. Welcome, Corrine. Thank you. For the past two years, you've been collaborating with other leaders in the industry to devise an alternative testing method as an approved method of the Environmental Protection Agency. And now the EPA has approved that method and it's called SGS Access 16130. Why was this so crucial to have now? Well, as you probably know, dioxins are very toxic, one of the most toxic chemicals known, and they have an ability to get into the environment and to make their way into the food chain and eventually into our bodies. So over the decades, there's been ongoing monitoring of dioxins and we've really reduced the risk from them, but ongoing monitoring is still required. There is a huge desire to find a new way to do this monitoring in the same reliable way. And so we got involved in a collaboration with the EPA and with a couple of instrument manufacturers to look at new mass spectrometric technology to see if it could be applied and produce dioxin data that had the same level of assuredness and quality as the old method. And so we have have done that and come up with this new method called SGS Access Method 16130. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the new method, a little bit more? The, it uses the latest technology and why it's so significant in your mind for the industry going forward? Well, this new technology is state of the art. It is less expensive to purchase, it is less expensive to operate, less expensive to maintain, and therefore that means that more labs are going to have access to it, and it means that more industries who are required to do this monitoring for regulatory purposes will be able to access this testing, probably at a more reasonable cost than with this technology that is that is old but very expensive. Thank you to, for sharing this news with us, Corrine. And thank you for joining us here at SGS Talks. Bye for now.